Leave it alone, mate. What can I say to the Home Secretary that the relationship between this country and the West Indies and Caribbean is inextricable? The first British ships arrived in the Caribbean in 1623, and despite slavery, despite colonisation, 25,000 Caribbeans served in the First World War and Second World War alongside British troops. When my parents and their generation arrived in this country under the Nationality Act of 1948, they arrived here as British citizens. It is inhumane and cruel for so many of that Windrush generation to have suffered so long in this condition and for the Secretary of State only to have made a statement today on this issue. Can she explain how many have been deported? She suggested earlier that she would ask the High Commissioners. It is her department that has deported them. She should know the number. Can she tell the House how many have been detained as prisoners in their own country? Can she tell the House how many have been denied health under the National Health Service? How many have denied pensions? How many have lost their job? This is a day of national shame and it has come about because of a hostile environment policy that was begun under her Prime Minister. Let us call it as it is. If you lay down with dogs, you get fleas. And that is what has happened with this far-right rhetoric in this country. Can she apologise properly? Can she explain how quickly this team will act to ensure that the thousands of British men and women denied their rights in this country under her watch in the Home Office are satisfied? Mr Speaker, I share the Honourable Gentleman's admiration for the people who came here from the Caribbean and contributed so much to our society in many, many different ways, and that admiration remains in place. I am concerned that the Home Office is becoming, has become too concerned with policy and strategy and sometimes lose sight of the individual. And this is about, this is about individuals. And we have seen the individual stories, and they have been, some of them, terrible to hear. And that is why I have acted. That is why I have put a very clear time limit on the amount of time it will take to correct this. That is why I am so committed to ensuring that there is no cost involved. That is why I am so committed to making sure that we can work across departments. We hope to be able to get the information that will be needed ourselves in the same way that we are looking ahead to the EU settled status, where we will be able to engage with other departments to look at national insurance and others. We will share, we will lead on finding the responsibility, finding the evidence, so we can get the documents for the people who need it. Finally, on one other point that he raised. I am not aware of any specific cases of a person being removed in these circumstances. That is why I have asked the High Commissioners, if they know of any, that they should bring it to me. And I would ask anybody here if they know of any such circumstances, they should bring them to the Home Office. Mr. Damien Green.